of legend was opened up at the page marked W3L Championship Tournament. The number one contenders are all going to get together to decide who is the best of the best before they get beat by the absolute best of them all. You see, if you watch Showdown on the W3L Network, and you should, because I'm there, you're going to be able to see the tournament I'm going to be watching. I'm going to watch it because I'm not a dummy. I don't stand around just waiting for contenders to pop up. I do my homework. I do my training. I figure out what their weaknesses are, and then I kick the living crap out of them for having a weakness. Because that's the difference. You have a weakness. I don't. You see, I have a title. You don't. You starting to see a picture? Is there something forming here for you guys? So guys, by all means, enjoy your little party, have your tournament, shake hands, high five the fans, eat popcorn, make it a big party. But when it comes down to the big event, when it comes down to the championship match, bring your A game. Get a good night's sleep. Have a nice meal the day before. In fact, have a lovely breakfast and then say goodbye to your families because there's no guarantee you're coming home. You guys are all good. You wouldn't be in WA3L if you weren't. I can't say that you suck. You don't suck. But the thing is, you're not legend. And that makes you, at best, second best. Enjoy your silver status. Hello everybody and welcome to W3L Wrestling Showdown here on the W3L Network. My name is Stevie Wizard, thank you for joining us, hopefully you have subscribed. And I'm sure you've probably noticed I'm not in the mobile studio this week. It's currently we getting an MOT, so I moved here to the W3L offices. And it's here that I can bring you exclusive news about our first major event of 2016. We are kicking off our year with live action on Friday, February 5th. It will be our annual Remedy event, and this year... It will be emanating from Grangemouth. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are in or around Grangemouth, make sure you make your plan right now for what promises to be a momentous event. Tickets for it are on sale immediately. Go to w3lwrestling.com for details on them. And remember, you showed them as a coupon code. You can hire yourself 20% off them. But Remedy is going to be a fantastic event. The main event of that show will see the WCL Heavily Champion... Joey Legend, taking on the number one contender in a heavyweight title match. But who is that number one contender? We're going to find out over the next two weeks here on Wrestling Showdown because management have picked four top W3L stars and they're going to compete against each other and the two men will meet next week with the winner becoming the new number one contender to the heavyweight championship. So let us not delay, let's go down to ringside right away and we will have the first of our Heavyweight title contenders matches. In this one, we have contingency plan member James Scott take on the popular high flying mass Mexican superstar Morado. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe Fortes here with you on Wrestling Showdown for the first of our two qualifying matches in the heavyweight title number one contenders tournament. Let's take you up to your ring announcer, Stevie Wizard. <laughs> This is the first of two matches, as I mentioned. And of course, the winner advances to the finals next week here on Wrestling Showdown. And at stake is that number one contendership for the W3L heavyweight title. And James Scott certainly did himself to the fans. I mean, he's a very unpopular man, as you can tell. 
On the way to the ring, he was telling the crowd to be quiet and sit on their feet. So you can see that he doesn't like this crowd at all, and they clearly don't like him. Uh, but thankfully, everybody does like Morado. He is the, the popular Mexican star. I spent uh, Christmas back home in Guadalupe, he told me earlier on today. So he is set, he is refreshed and ready to go because of the biggest opportunity he's had for a shot at the WTL Heavy Championship in quite a while. Of course, remember he was part of a four-way golden ticket ladder match at Resolution 9, or at least was supposed to be, but he was of course attacked by Blondie Barrett before the match started and as a consequence he was unable to compete, so he missed his opportunity. And this has been a great way for Morado to climb the ranks and face off against the WCL heavyweight champion Joey Legend. Scott just backing Morado up into the corner. And of course we've got another match later on uh, here in this episode. And the two winners of these matches will meet next week here on Wrestling Showdown. And James Scott, uh, the former WCL heavyweight champion as we know, a 15 month reign he had from April 2010 onwards. So he's been at the top of the tree and would dearly love to regain that title because he did have the opportunity just last month in that four-way heavy title elimination match. Which was the match where Drew Legend had defeated Nathan Reynolds to become the new champion. And uh, we've seen Legend's actions over the past few weeks, what he's been doing to the staff, to other wrestlers as well. And Nathan Reynolds still injured. And this crowd firmly by Murado and totally getting on Scott's case. Scott does have the experience advantage, I get 11 years or so over Murado and uh, of course he's part of the contingency plan. We've seen the havoc they've been wreaking here in WCL over the past few months. And Mur Murado can go for a test of strength but Scott just kicks him in the midsection, doesn't even attempt it. Because James Scott has uh, modified his style over the years, but slower, more methodical, more of a martial arts influence. Marado much faster pace, much more of the high flyer. Scott gets launched in the far turnbuckles. And Marado just kicks him right in the chest. And there's no time, oh, goes straight for cover here, one, two. There's no time limit in this match. So it's not only have to win within a certain time, it's not like our seven deadly sins tournament or anything like that. Of course the winner will advance, we're going to keep something in the tank for next week. Marado gets set and he goes to Pescado and he lands on James Scott wiping him out on the ringside floor. It's a great bit for Marado if he can keep up the offence, keep James Scott reeling, hit a couple of big moves, he could potentially get the victory and this could be it here. Marado not letting that two count phase him though. Still going on, he obviously would like to uh, win an advance, I mean, who wouldn't? And oh, James Scott! Just dives on the ropes because Morado falls awkwardly. Took a little too long there with Morado. And that's the veteran instincts of James Scott. Scott hooked up. Look at the strength of James Scott and drops him down with that fisherman's buster. Covers one, two. But it's not to be. James Scott's not going to be able to defeat Morado that quickly. Particularly like the fact that Morado's been on a roll recently. He has been undefeated on a recent string of live events. So I mean, he's uh, proven to have some chops as it were. He's, uh, he's managed to score victories left, right and centre and this could be another one for him. James Scott picks him up. Oh, and just runs him right in the ring post. And that's going to work right in the back of Morado. That's going to cause him all sorts of pain. Referee Sean McLaughlin needs to step in, I think, here. And James Scott just further injuring Morado at ringside. Just demeaning him in front of the audience, trying to assert his dominance over him. Of course, a good part of pro wrestling is the mental aspect. If you can psych out your opponent, that's half the battle to defeating them. And Scott's a master at doing that kind of thing. slow to get back up but he's finding back Morado doesn't say quit he's got a lot of fire in him that's why he's become so popular with the fans because you've not seen Morado on the rest of the show since July of last year believe it or not he's in a tag team match with Nathan Reynolds to take on Rory Steele and Lucian Maynard Smith 
That's, oh, it hits a knee drop. But it's not to say that Morado hasn't been competing for W3L. He has. Like I say, he's been in a row as of late. Scott launching him across the ropes. Morado leapfrogs him with ease and drop kicks him. I think Scott was expecting that. Morado straight for the cover. And you can see, because it's a tournament format, because the winner has to then go on to the finals next week, neither man is waiting for an opportunity. As soon as there's a pinfall attempt available, they are taking it. Because they know that they need to win this match. Ideally as quickly as possible. Ideally with taking as little damage as possible. Because the stakes in this are so high. As James Scott is sticking his foot in the side of the Morado's face there. Sean McLaughlin stepping in and quite rightly too. The contingency plan have shown a blatant disregard for the rules that we feel of the wrestlers, for the fans as well. Of course, they pulled a fast one uh, a few months ago here in the showdown when James Scott appeared out of, frankly, nowhere uh, to replace Taylor Bride in that tag team tables match. And that allowed him to win the tag team championship back from Musso and Reynolds. Let's cover one, two. Morado kicking out though. And Scott is technically one third of the tag team champions, but the plan would love to hold with the tag and heavyweight title. And Scott's got Morado across the shoulders, what's going for? Oh, wait for a kick. Trying to put him to sleep. But Morado gets hold of him. And a lovely Northern Light suplex. Close at the cover. One, two, three. No, James Scott with enough presence to, mean to kick out of that one. It was a good move by Morado. And now he's got the match turning in his favour. He really needs to keep the offence up. He really needs to keep on top of James Scott. And a kick to the face. That's got to be it, surely. He's going to loosen some teeth if nothing else. And somehow James Scott kicking out of that one as well. That's the resounds that led to him being heavyweight champion. He's been a two-time tag team champion. Morado going upstairs. Could we go for that splash of the top? He's won many matches with this. But Scott gets out of the way. Morado lands badly on that one. And he gets hooked across the shoulders. What's James Scott going for here? Oh, and James Scott just dumps it right in his head. And that's it. James Scott pins Morado. So James Scott emphatically pins Morado, almost breaking his neck in the process it looks like, and he will advance to next week's uh, edition of Showdown to face the winner of our next contest, be his one step close to becoming number one contender to the WCL Heavyweight title. So ladies and gentlemen, James Scott defeats Morado and he advances to the finals of that tournament which we'll be showing you here next week on Wrestling Showdown. Now I mentioned at Remedy the heavyweight title being on the line, but also on the line will be the Women's Championship. Leah Owens has proved to be a very popular Women's Champion. She's willing to take on all comers and as such she is issuing an open challenge at Remedy. So on Friday the 5th of February Leah Owens will be in Grangemouth for Remedy, Women's Championship belt in tow, but as yet we do not know her opponent. I guess we'll find it on the night. Make sure you are there by heading to wtlwrestling.com and getting your tickets and using Shodan as a coupon code for 20% off. So, with James Scott having advanced to next week's final of the heavyweight title contenders tournament, we need an opponent for him. And we'll determine that in our next contest. Two men who are no strangers to each other are about to do battle. On the one side of the ring, we have the notorious nobleman Lucian Maynard Smith. Another, it's the merchandise, Mike Musso. Who's going to advance? Let's find out by going to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, you are going to by the presence of the notorious nobleman, the jolly good fellow, Lucian Maynard Smite! And I am a very Heavyweight Championship. 
Township. But before I do that, I demand each and every one of you people in attendance tonight to stand up on your feet. Hold your heads up high. I'm for The Scottish only. I didn't understand the word you were saying in front of me. <laughs> and last but not least, hold your hands to your heart. An English national anthem. Because I know that each and every one of you people in attendance tonight, whether you want to admit it or not, you have English blood running through your veins. The flower of Scotland. You have been graced by the presence of the notorious nobleman, Lucian Maynard Smythe. Good day. Second of our qualifying matches in this number one contenders tournament. We saw earlier on that James Scott of the contingency plan has advanced and one of these two men will face him next week here on the showdown. It's either going to be that man in the blue and claret singlet, Lucian Maynard Smith, or the man at the back of the ring in the camouflaged and red tights, the merchandise Mike Musso. Uh, either of these two men would be a worthy opponent for James Scott. Any of the four guys in this tournament would be a worthy number one contender, has to be said. And uh, Musso and Smith, no strangers to each other whatsoever. They have fought countless times. So I would be expecting that uh, these men will be using what they've learned in the past uh, to try and eke out a victory over the other. And starting off with some chain wrestling. Musso often seems more of a power guy, lots of slam suplexes, but he does have a lot of wrestling skill in his arsenal, as of course does Lucian and Maynard Smith. And I would expect that Smith will try and take it to the mat, or at least try and out-wrestle Musso wherever possible, because Musso is the more powerful of the two, he's a stronger man. So I would have thought it would be Lucian's uh, benefit if he can uh, keep Musso grounded and he can't use that power that he has. That's what he's doing here, but Musso, again, able to out-wrestle. And he rolls through in a nice side headlock. Because Lucian Maynard Smith last appeared in Wrestling Showdown, actually on Christmas Day, hosting the House of Smith. With Julia Legend, Stevie Wizard, Nathan Reynolds. I'm sure you've all seen that. If you haven't, go back and look at it. Um, he last appeared in a match back in September of last year. He was in a, a tag team match. It was he and occasional tag partner Rory Steele against that man there, Mike Musso and Nathan Reynolds. Smith saying he wants to keep going. And of course, 
It's a, much like we said in the, the previous match, it's a bit of a gut check really because there's no time limit in this match, but you don't want to spend all week uh, trying to beat your opponent with the win quickly because you've got another match next week here in the showdown to prepare for to recover from this match. And of course if you go nursing an injury next week, James Scott will be all over that like a shark in uh, blood-filled waters. Uh, so both men need to get in as healthy as possible. Musso backs uh, Smith against the ropes and an arm drag from Mike Musso, something a bit uncharacteristic there. And I think that's something that we might see from these guys because they've wrestled each other so often. Maybe they will break out something new, something different. Uh, we saw in those matches that Musso had against Nathan Reynolds. Um, Musso would break out moves that we've never seen him use before in an attempt to defeat a man he knows so well. So I'd expect possibly the same against Smith here this week uh, on the showdown. Musso with that agility that he's known for, ducks the clothesline, switch on the block rip does. Oh, and rakes him right in the eyes. That's a big knee lift. Musso's no stranger to using them himself. And Smith clearly deciding that the wrestling's not going to work. He's going to blatantly choke Mike Musso here. And Musso landing badly off that one. This is going exactly Lucian Maynard Smith's way. And more shots to the midsection of Mike Musso. Of course, the merchandise was part of that four-way elimination match of the heavyweight title on our anniversary edition of Showdown. It was eliminated by James Scott. So, of course, another heavyweight title opportunity would be amazing for him. Particularly if he can eke past Lucian Maynard Smith here and uh, face Scott in the finals, but of course beating Smith is one thing and that's uh, what he has to contend with right now, he needs to focus on Lucian Maynard Smith he cannot be thinking ahead, otherwise Musso's uh, run at the heavyweight title may be all over and Smith applying that abdominal stretch, hard thing to do for a man of Musso's size, he's like 6 foot 4 so it's really difficult to apply an abdominal stretch to a man that size Smith just slowing the match down, just uh, weighing down Musso in any way possible. If you can hear this crowd chanting for Mike Musso, he's a popular man, Kirkcaldy native, big hip toss there, but you can see what it took out of him. His midsex obviously giving him grief, and a drop toe hold, and it could be going for that Indian deathlock, he used that to create a fit before, remember he beat TG Rage during Seven Deadly Sins back in July with that very hold. But Smith too close to the ropes, and again this comes from knowing each other so well, he was able to tell what Musso was going to go for, so got himself in a position to get hold of the ropes. And Musso perhaps being goaded in slightly takes a shoulder block to the midsection and gets his throat dropped across the top rope. Smith pouring on the offence here. Now Smith has had opportunities at the heavyweight title, he's never made it stick for him unfortunately. But another opportunity uh, would definitely go down well for him. What a great way to start 2016. And of course, that remedy Joey Legend will face whoever wins this tournament. It's either going to be James Scott or one of these two men. We will find out at the end of this match who's facing Scott next week. And Musso, oh, lovely move. Roll through and takes down the leg of Smith. And he's repositioned himself for the Indian Deathlock. And he's bridging out. And Lucian Maynard Smith could submit here. This could be it. He may not advance any further in the tournament, but he's reaching for the ropes. Referee Sean McLaughlin, perfectly placed to tell. And he gets hold of the rope. Sean McLaughlin uh, making the count means that Maynard Smith has to break the hold, or he would be disqualified here. And he gets kicked off by Lucian Maynard Smith, but goes straight back for it. There's that tenacity of Musso's, and he tastes the jawbreaker. Smith perhaps knows worn down in Musso's feeling. And now Musso getting throttled on that middle rope. And it looks like Smith is resorting to every underhanded tactic that he knows. Oh, and rakes the back. No doubt a slogan coming soon to a t-shirt near you. Head back to the midsection yet again. And he's got Musso traps, he Musso can't go anywhere, his body's wedged against those turnbuckle pads. 
and a game back first. Now we've seen Musso's backs being damaged over the, the past few months in WTL. Smith goes to the cover. We saw him go through a table twice now. So while he's not said anything, I don't know if he's not got a nagging injury. Perhaps Smith's just chancing his arm as it were, trying to see if Musso's back maybe isn't 100%. Oh no, he doesn't. I thought it was going to Irish whip Mike Musso across the ring, but Musso holding on. There's the reversal. And a back elbow, nothing pretty about it, but it was effective though. And a big clothesline. Musso threw everything he had behind that one. They wanted to get the crowd back on his side. They're already there, I reckon. You can hear them chanting his name. Certainly uh, Smith's. Earlier uh, having the national anthem being played didn't really go in his favour, has to be said. And Moose with a body press. Smith kicking out, and again, that's something we don't normally see from Mike Musso. It's like I mentioned before, but trying new things to eke out a victory for a man he's wrestled umpteen times. And Moose with a close line off the middle. This could be it. He goes for the cover. One, two, three. Oh, Lucy Maynard Smith has tasted that close line, knows what to do to kick out of it. Smith getting hold of Lucian Mayner Smith. What will he go for here? Launching with Christian again. He's singing for a face buster. But Smith knew what was coming. And Musso with a kick to the midsection. And he hoists him across the shoulders. Could this be the blunt force trauma? And it's exactly what it is the blunt force trauma. Lucian Mayner Smith dropped firmly in his skull. Shoma will come for the cover. And that's it. Mike Musso advance in our tournament. So next week here in Wrestling Showdown, James Scott, Mike Musso for the number one contendership. So there we go ladies and gentlemen. Next week we will see in the finals of the heavyweight title number one contenders tournament, it will be James Scott against Mike Musso. This is one you don't want to miss. If you've not hit subscribe, do it right now. And that way you'll be guaranteed to be informed when that episode goes online on the W3L network. Because it's going to be a momentous match. And of course one of these two men will then head to Remedy on Friday, February the 5th. To face Joey Legend for the heavyweight title in the main event of that event. Of course Lee Owens is going to be there defending the women's title in an open challenge but if that's not enough, if you want to see more WCL action, we've got a cut for you in the month of February. We'll be taking our cameras on tour with us, filming matches at our upcoming live events for here on Showdown, so make sure you're part of it. On Sunday, February the 7th, we're going to be in Buckhaven. Then the following week on February 11th, that's the Thursday, yep, Thursday, we're going to be in Berwick-upon-Tweed. The following day, see us go to stockton on Tees. On February the 13th, which is Saturday, we're in Edinburgh at the Southside Community Centre. And then on February the 14th, Valentine's Day, we are in Gala Shields. Now I should point out that we're not in City Night Club in Edinburgh on the 13th because it's being refurbished. So we have returned to the Southside Community Centre. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic event, I am sure. Tickets for all those events and for Remedy are available from WTLWrestling.com. Again, use Shodan as a coupon code. You can get 20% off. Make your plans to start February with us. We have got so many live events, so many great things coming up. Make sure you're part of it. You can head to our website. Give us a like on Facebook. We're at facebook.com slash Wrestling. You can, of course, find us on Twitter at WTL Wrestling. Engage with us. Use the hashtag WTL Wrestling Showdown. And then prepare yourselves, because in seven days' time, it's Musso versus Scott, with the winner to become the new number one contender.